Hey, welcome to another show. Today, the question of the day comes from my daughter, Angelina. She wants to know, what is a food chain? That's a good question. So right away, let's go to the lab and they can get an answer for us. Okay, welcome. Okay, we're going to explain the very complex issue of the food chain. The food chain starts right over here and with the grass and the seeds growing from the ground. And then along comes a little mousy. The mousy will eat the seeds. And maybe later in that day, Mr. Snake comes slithering over, sees the mousy and whoosh, grabs the mousy, eats it. Maybe in the evening, whoo, whoo, whoo. Yes, the owl will see the snake, flies down, whoosh, grabs the snake, eats it. So this is all a part of the food chain. You have the owl, which ate the snake, which ate the mousy, and the mousy ate the seeds. Now with any other living creature or animal, if you eat something, you have little poopsies. And so over here, our next step is the owl poopsies. When the owl poopsies fall on the ground, we have what is called decomposers. The decomposers are all those little critters, those creepy crawlies on the ground, like your isopods, your roly bullies, your centipedes, dandy long legs, all the little things, flies, and they are eating all the poop and they're breaking it down. They're decomposing it into the earth. And from the earth, out comes more seeds, more grass. So this is all of the part of the food chain. I hope this helps you. Thank you. All right, I sure appreciate you explaining what a food chain is there. Now, a couple other things you want to remember. Predator and prey. A predator is like a lion, or it's the predator is the one chasing the other animal. So the predator, that could be like a lion. The prey, that word, that is like the antelope. The antelope are being chased. Now us humans, people, we are on top of the food chain. We are basically the predator but we don't have another predator after us. Now, of course, you might fall into a pit of crocodiles and get eaten up, but all for all, you really, during the day, you don't have crocodiles chasing after you. That was just kind of like a boo-boo, a -boo, mistake. So us humans are on top of the food chain. Now, um, I, I asked Angelina, I said, do you understand now? And she says, well, I want to, Daddy, I want you to do another example. I said, okay, pick an animal. She said, the eagle, the bald eagle. Now, I don't know if she chose the bald eagle because I'm, I'm losing a little bit of my hair there, but uh, she likes the bald eagle. And I said, okay, Angelina, what does a bald eagle eat? She said, cheeseburgers. All right, I kind of smiled a little bit, but I'm going to go with it. All right, I said, where do cheeseburgers come from? She said, Mickey D's. I said, okay, where does Mickey D's come from? She said, some water company. I don't know, she started laughing. I said, oh, no, okay, I gotta set you straight here, okay. We got your bald eagle. A bald eagle might eat a bunny rabbit, a rabbit. All right, what do bunny rabbits eat? They eat grass, and then of course, your bald eagles have the bald eagle, you know, the eagle poopies, and they fall into the ground, and then you got your decomposers. They're eating that up, and that's the big food chain. That's the, so it just kind of goes around and around, all right? So, I said, do you understand now, Angelina? She said, Daddy, I want to do one more. I said, okay, pick another animal. She said, a bug. I said, well, what kind of bug? Mosquito, mosquito. I said, okay, what do mosquitoes eat? She said, people. She got me on that one. Here I thought we were on top of the food chain and I plum forgot about mosquitoes. Yeah, I'm from Minnesota now 
And if you go out in them dare woods in the summertime, you're going to get eaten up. They're going to come after you. So I just said, oh, Angelina, I kind of give up on that one. So we had a good time there. We were laughing and laughing. Anyway, I hope you get outside today. It's a beautiful day here. I'm going for a lovely drive. And uh, like always, I sure appreciate it if you subscribe. And uh, leave a comment down below if you got a question. I sure would appreciate it, you know, seeing that. And uh, you might see it on a show. And if you know of anybody that might want to uh, buy a deer head, let me know. The wife, wife still won't let me put it in the house. So, uh, got to drive around with it all day long now. So, hey, have a fun day. Bye-bye.